Good morning, in this video I will show you how I went about sculpting this serpent bangle made from cosplay. This is my sister's beautiful hand that I borrowed for the intro of this video. I am using a 500ml Red Bull can to sculpt onto, rolling out a long piece for the body and wrapping it around the can. Shaping it and pressing it down as I go. Cutting a groove along the center of the entire body, a teardrop shape for the head and blending it onto the body. Pushing some aluminium armature wire into the groove. I should have used a thicker gauge because this wasn't strong enough to hold it in place on my arm. Closing up the gap over the wire and smoothing it out with my fingers. The mutations on this serpent are based off of the online game Ovi Pets and it was a lot of fun getting everybody's mutation suggestions. For the eyes I am using steel ball bearings, using a ball tool to create the eye sockets, cutting in the mouth with a scalpel and shaping it along the sides. Roll out and lightly flatten a piece for the tongue, cut a slit for the fork and place it into the mouth. To add some texture to the body I am using the handle of the scalpel and rolling that over the snake's body. For the diamonds on the body, I have rolled out a thin sheet of clay and cut diagonals in one direction with a flat blade and then again in the other direction. I started placing them onto the head using a combination of small and large diamonds. For the tail, I am rolling out short tapered pieces and giving them a slight curl to one end. Keep adding them until it looks right. Moving on to the horns, to keep them consistent in size, I press out two circles and cut them in half. Roll each half out with a point on one end, bring them together and twist them into a spiral. Figuring out the placement and using a ball tool to indent, place in the horns with a bit of bake and bond. For the wings, I am rolling out three large teardrop shapes and using a needle tool to create a line then doing the same with three smaller teardrops. Cutting a slot into the body for the wings to sit, I added four small flattened balls to hide the sharp join of the wings and body. I then pressed them down with a ball tool. Now for the whiskers. I roll out my length, taper one end and steeply cut the other end. This end will be laying against the side of the face. It took me a while to find a nice position for the whiskers to lay, but I eventually got there and I like the natural flowing position that I settled with. One last step before baking and that is to empty out the can of Red Bull. I was quite nervous about doing this, but thanks to Cosclay's strength and flexibility, there were no problems at all. This is where a stronger wire armature would have been more appropriate. The serpent's body doesn't stay clamped together, but it still looks beautiful. I'm using a couple of coats of PVA glue as a base, then I am going in with a black acrylic paint. Once the coat of black has dried, I am mixing in some drying retardant and black shimmer pigments. The shimmer wasn't staying on as well as I would have liked, so I sealed it in with some more PVA glue. The colours I chose are black, purple and bronze. I was originally going to go with gold, but it looked way too yellow for my liking. I used this light purple first because it is more opaque, and once that dried, I went in with my brighter purple. I am using a small detail brush to do all of the bronze areas. I also painted around the diamonds with bronze and the little details on the wings. The whiskers were very time consuming and took a few coats until they looked finished. I mixed some pinks in with the purple and I used this to add some depth to the piece. I then added some black to darken the purple and use this to create the shadows. I painted it around the creases of the horns, around the eyes and the deeper parts of the tail. I used polyurethane gloss on the eyes and it is finished. I used to sculpt sea serpent charms about three years ago and this bangle reminded me of them. So if you're interested, I will have a couple of them up for sale in the link below. 
If you're into sculpting tutorials, then you might want to check out some of my other videos. And if you like this video or found it somewhat helpful, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down if you like, but either way, I hope I see you next time.